Flood water stopped hundreds of vehicles this afternoon on I 35E and Illinois Avenue. Some people had to abandon their cars. Fox 4's Macy Jenkins was there and spoke to drivers who escaped and witnesses who stopped to help. Macy. Good afternoon, Natalie. Just about 30 minutes ago, this entire intersection was backed up, and that's because all the cars driving on the freeway had to exit here to avoid flood water below. Take a look at this video. Just around 2:45 this afternoon, dozens of cars were heading southbound on I-35 East, but they had to come to a stop. Just in front of them, water had accumulated under the Illinois Avenue overpass. One woman says she's grateful she slammed on the brakes when she did. We spotted three cars stuck in the flood water. One of them below belongs to Wayne Valentine. He told me he and his mother Sue were headed home to Rockwall during the heavy rain this afternoon. Take a listen. And all of a sudden we got in water to look fine and we kept going to try to get out and get off the road and all of a sudden the water was so deep that we had no place to go and the car just died. And a little more than two hours. Drivers I spoke to say they were stuck behind the water for more than an hour. Dallas police officers and firefighters responded to the scene. Some of the cars were able to make it to the off ramp before getting stuck behind the water, but others had to wait until they were eventually turned around and redirected, driving the wrong way on I-35 East back to the Illinois exit. Now, a little more than two hours after this whole thing began, you can see the freeway is moving along just fine, but there is a little bit of flooding still happening on the the southbound ramp, and that means that cars have to tread carefully this afternoon. I'll send it back to you, Natalie. That's right. Okay, Macy, live in Dallas. Thank you. The severe weather interrupted many weekend outdoor events. Grapevine Main Street Fest typically draws tens of thousands of people each day. The crowd was smaller than normal when the storms hit in the early afternoon. Festival organizers say they were prepared and temporarily shut down things to keep everyone safe, but they were able to open back up. Fox 4's Lynn Ann Wynn was at the festival as the storms hit. She's there now. Hi, Lynn Ann. Hi, Natalie. Well, as you just said, they just had to uh, temporarily uh, shut down operations out here as that storm moved through. Festival attendees, though, they had to deal with heavy rain and windy conditions, but thankfully we saw no major damage. Grapevine Main Street Fest opened Saturday to gray skies, but it didn't stop a few brave folks from coming out. It was a little bit daunting, but you know, we're troopers, so we wanted to we wanted to have the adventure and we came prepared with umbrellas and plastic bags for the cell phones and stuff like that. Volunteer Brenda Fuller is here to raise money for special needs children and camps through the Grapevine Elks Lodge, and she's willing to come out in the rain to do it. So I've got a poncho, we've got plenty of umbrellas, ponchos, things to clean up after the storm. We've got bungees and everything else to weather the storm. Festival organizers closely monitor the weather for severe storms at their command center along with police, fire and EMS. We have a sound system along Main Street that they will alert attendees of incoming weather. But once the storm rolled in, people were running for cover. Wind, heavy rain, lightning and thunder swept through the festival grounds, temporarily shutting down the entry gates as staff headed in for cover and safety. The wind and the rain and we're trying to get things covered so it doesn't leak through the, the boxes and then it's flooding on the floors and we're, it's so crazy. Heidi Rush is a vendor at the festival selling leather goods through her Fort Worth based business, Unbounded Leather. She had to work quickly to save her products from getting ruined in the rain. All the other vendors have helped help cover and because I was not prepared for this. We're moving things in and as the weather gets worse, we're moving it closer and closer and closer. Hopefully the tent's not going to rip or something from the rain. But through it all, festival goers and vendors kept moving forward, hoping to just ride out the storm. Thankfully, clearer weather out here for the festival. It continues tonight until about 1130 with live performances and carnival rides. And festivities will also continue tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m.